For years, we have eagerly anticipated the arrival of a remarkable individual. He who has made waves in the realms of Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut. Now, we can joyfully announce that this luminary has made his debut in our very own Filmora community. The impact they have had on professional editing software is finally within our reach, allowing us to unlock a world of creative possibilities in our video projects. His name is Color Wheels. Hello friends and welcome to another video, where we will discuss the changes in color grading tools in Wondershare Filmora 12, what changed and what was added, and why we say it's now advanced. So if you were one of the Filmora community members on YouTube or other platforms, this can also be one of your favorite channels. Before the end of this video we will also review other features which may not concern the color grading topic, so let's jump on it. So firstly let us see what really changed, what is the difference between the old color tab setup and the new one. So here I'm showing you this old version so that when you see the new one, you will clearly see the difference between the two. If you open here, you will see there are more color presets than in the new. And some of these presets were removed from here and are defined as lots. I will show you where they are, soon in this video. In the old version we had these three tabs, white balance, color, and light. But in the newer one, there is no white balance tab, and all these adjustments are within these two, the color tab and light tab. So Wondershare Filmora labeled this change, or upgrade as the improved color correction algorithm and expanded parameter adjustment range, allowing for more natural color adjustments. new color wheels. The very first added feature was long awaited by the Filmora community, as I have introduced this video. So when you go to the color tab you see basic, HSL, curves, and also color wheels. And here we have highlights, midtones, and shadows. So here is how you use these three. I will make a full guide tutorial of how you can color grade in Filmora, but for now, here are the basics of color wheels. Highlights are the brightest part of an image, or video despite the color. You can create an overexposed image by boosting the brightness of the highlight color wheel. Or make it warmer by making the highlights more red or yellow. Midtones are the tones in the middle range of brightness. This is very important, you must get a strong balance of midtones in your color gradings. So here you can change the brightness of midtones to correct a video with poor contrast. Moving on to the shadows, these are the darkest pixels in the clip. Decreasing the brightness of the shadows will bring instant depth and at the same time it gives contrast to your video. For a quick way to warm up or cool down the tone in your video, just shift the color of your shadows towards red or blue. The next is the lot. So all those presets removed from the preset menu are now under lats. So when you open the lot, you can click right here. And here you will see the list. After choosing one, you will be able to adjust the intensity from here. By the way friends, if you don't have the newest version of Wondershare Filmora 12, it's very easy to get it now. Last time we used to go on the help tab, then check for updates, but sometimes this method could not work. So here is the best method. Firstly, for you to see what is the current version you have, or you can again come on the help tab, and the product version. So for a newest version you can on the Wondershare Filmora website. Click on support. Scroll down, and click on find a download. On the product choose Filmora. Then you can choose on the system if you are on Windows or Mac. Then right here you will see the latest version right on the top. And here you can also see the version description. Let's move on. Here is the next one. When you scroll further down, 
you see the adjust. Let's use this image as an example. If your clip is a little noisy, this feature can help. But then you must be mindful because this adjustment is no good when it's too much. Here is one of the most important improvements, when color correcting. The before and after preview. You must be seeing how the clip was before the adjustments as well as after. So as you can see you have access to this preview from the basic tab, HSL. The curves. And also on the color wheels. While we are still on previewing, we also have the preview on hovering. So this is when you move your mouse. Without clicking but just your mouse on a preset, will show the effects of that preset on the preview. As you can see friends, these changes have brought advanced color grading abilities in Wondershare Filmora 12. Let's also move to other improvements that don't concern the color grading topic. Here is the first one. If you would try to bring an effect on a certain portion of the clip, in the old version you had to duplicate the clip. Apply the effect on the above clip. Then mask it. But it was time consuming. In this update, when you apply the effect, there is an option to mask that very effect, where you want it to be. For example this one, double click and go effects, and now you can click the type of a mask you want to use. Then you are done. Here is the second one, image sequence. Firstly, what I want you to know is that the video is a bunch of images, just many of them but packed in a certain particular order. When the video is 30 frames per second, we have 30 images lined up in every second of that video. If 60 frames per second, the same way. So this update is allowing you if you want to export your video as images. So here is how you do it. So as you can see here I have zoomed in my timeline and I am editing this project at 25 fps. So we are going to convert this one second video into 25 images. Just click export. Here you click on the format and scroll down to PNG image sequence or JPG image sequence. You can write in the comments if this video was helpful or not, but you guys keep checking out my full guide tutorial on how to color grade in Filmora 12, on the end screen or in the description, but for now I will leave you this video right on the screen.